Thus, our Arduino microcontroller is capable of doing two or more tasks at the same time? The answer is no, because Arduino microcontroller is a single-core microcontroller, and it is processing every task in sequential manner. But we can virtually achieve multitasking by taking the advantage of the microcontroller's speed. It basically switches from one task to the other task in fast pace to make it appear that many tasks are happening at the same time. If you really want to achieve, let's say, to turn on two different LED at exact same time, I would suggest to use Field Programmable Gate Array or FPGA where the processing is done in consecutive manner. To achieve multitasking with Arduino, you can choose from the following option. By using timer interrupts or by using MILIS function which basically use the timer zero interrupt or by using state machines. And lastly, by using real-time operating system or RTOS. In my opinion, state machines, RTOS, and MILIS are all derived from timer interrupts. In this demonstration, we will focus with the use of MILIS function because this is the easiest to understand. Even the Arduino provided an example in using MILIS. The blink without delay example. In here, I prepare a demo circuit which is consists of the following. Three button switches, three LEDs that simulates relay on and off state. A 16 by 2 LCD for the display of the menu and an Arduino Uno board as the main microcontroller. The menu is needed so we can set a specific duration of the on state of the relay. And the MILIS function is used to achieve multiple tasks at almost the same time, like navigating the LCD menu using the buttons, and at the same time controlling the duration of the on state of the relay. So let's demonstrate it. The links of the circuit diagram and the Arduino sketch will be provided in the description. Please feel free to modify it and adapt to your specific applications. These buttons, the first buttons in the left, should be for the left direction. This is for, the center is for the enter. And the last in the right is for right button. As you can see, it's written here. E for menu. So let's press the E. We can navigate the menu by using the buttons. We can hide the menu and it will go back to the main screen. So let's go in inside again with the menu. Let's select the relay red which is this one for the first relay. As of now, the duration is zero. So to modify that one, we, we go right and edit the value. So inside the submenu, we have the duration, which displays the current set time. Next is edit to edit the duration. Next is execute to execute the uh, on state of the relay and back so to return to the main menu so let's go in let's edit the duration let's say this one is two seconds and let's execute so the LED will turn on for two seconds then it will turn it off back again so let's execute again, executing red, and it will turn up. So let's up, let's go back, let's say we choose the relay yellow and edit the value. Let's say this one is 
for 30 seconds, maybe. Let's save. Execute. Then, let's go back. And let's edit the duration of the relay blue. Let's say 7 and execute. So as you can see, we are able to uh, multitask using the Millis function. So that's it. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up and share this to your friends. If you have question or suggestion, please do write it in the comment box. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified the moment I uploaded a new video. Thank you and have a good day. Bye!